Yo, what up guys, it's Mike, and, uh, sorry if I sound kind of sick, because I am. Um, so today I'm going to teach you how to do, uh, how to separate the letters from the text in Cinema 4D, and a lot of people asked me to do this tutorial, so here it goes. Alright, so, what the ending, or what, like, the end result should look like would be... Um, it's around here somewhere. Here it is. <laughs> um, this is what like the end result would look like. Like when you separate the letters and you turn them around and whatnot. So, uh, we're gonna do that now. Alright, so first you want to start off with the regular text. And I'm going to do this really quick for the sake of time. Uh, let's just put fuse. Um, Alright, so now you have that. And A, B, whatever. Let's just put random. I'm just going to put random stuff. Alright, so I guess put color in it, whatnot. And, um,. And what you want to do now that you have your text, you just want to click on and like highlight over it, and you go, you want to press C on your keyboard, and then you want to open all these up, and you're gonna see this like extrude nerves, or uh, you're gonna see extrude nerves, but like with your letters, and you want to drag that out. All right, now you want to press Control hold on your um hold the color and just highlight over all of them and you could delete this if you want now if you had uh if you had like out oh, here let me explain if you had like the little thing above like in the middle of your text like I I'll, I'll show you right now like if you uh, and I'm just doing this for the sake of time like just putting random stuff if you do like this kind of stuff where you put 40 and you drag it to the middle because I know a lot of people do that and you put like caps fill it cap and whatnot alright and uh let's just put color on this so it could make it easier to see um, if you do that kind of stuff, what you want to do is highlight over both of them, and click C, and just open one of them up, and drag them out, and you want to put the color on those, and you can delete this one I guess, and then what you want to do with the second one, you want to open that one up, and you want to put, you want to drag the F, to the bottom of the first F. Make sure the arrow is pointing sideways. If it's pointing down, it's going to put it inside the F. And like you'll you'll see it like I'll show you. If it's pointing down, you're going to see it like this. And it's not going to work. So you want to drag that out. Make sure it's, uh the arrow is pointing sideways on all of them. And you'll see the colors like this. Alright, so just put black on that. And you can delete this. And what you want to do now, so it won't be like so many letters, you want to highlight both the F's. Uh, here, let me get a highlight. There we go. You want to highlight both the F's and press Alt and G. And it's going to give you a null. And you could rename that F. And when you open that, you'll see both the F's right there. And when you click on the F, you could move that one around by itself, as you see there. And you just want to do that for all of them. Alt G, Alt G, Alt G, and you can rename them so you won't forget. U U S E, and and then you could 
eventually move them around. How you move them around like this, you just go over here to this little toolbar and you click on this rotation tool. And you just move them around however you desire to move them around and whatnot. And in the end you should get like you should get something like what I showed you, which is this. And if when you render it out, it looks so like badass and shiny and whatnot. So yeah, that's mostly what you do to make rotation. And uh, yeah, um, if you have any more um, things to ask me, any more tutorials to for me to do, just comment. Leave me a message. I'd rather you comment because I haven't been getting many comments lately. So yeah. Um, Please like, favorite this video to help you. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. Peace.